St. John is uh, one of those organizations that bridges gaps and, 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 and does what it does in spite of the situation. Since the Second Intifada, so going back about nearly 15 years ago, there has been very little contact between the Jewish communities and the Palestinian communities, and that's a tragedy. And of course, in the long term, this is going to lead to, to a world of pain, I'm afraid, for both sides. We're one of the very, very few areas where there is some crossover, at a professional level and also with, with dealing with our patients. Our relationship with Hadassah University Hospital and Israeli Hospital goes back many years, but it got reinforced in 2001. There were these uh, joint efforts between Israel and Palestine in areas of education to enhance peace. And out of the 14 projects that they uh, sponsored, the one that was most successful was ours with Hadassah and training doctors. Generally, our department wants to help the development of ophthalmology uh, for the Palestinians as well as for the Israelis. And uh, uh, we do it uh, by training, uh, by teaching. And recently, also, we uh, try to help in developing research in ophthalmology in St. John. I was in the jail for six months in the first intifada, where I was an activist in Gaza. In my training in Hadassah, I have to examine Israeli soldiers who were uh, uh, participating in a uh, war in Gaza or uh, were uh, shooting the, in the West Bank or Israeli victims. Uh, and also I had to uh, uh, treat or examine <laughs> uh, prisoners, Palestinians. It's our medical commitment. And uh, we can have all kind of uh, political uh, views and still we have to treat everybody. As soon as you enter the gates of Adassa, no politics, only medicine.